Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will tell you how you can turn your Ubuntu and virtual machine into a Ruteros. If I have to briefly explain RouterOS, it is a special operating system developed by Microtik for its routers and switches. It offers advanced networking features such as routing, firewall, bandwidth management, VPN, and wireless connectivity. RouterOS provides a user-friendly interface to efficiently configure and manage network devices. Coming to the license part, we will install the free demo version since we will download the image file from the website. There are some limits to this, such as a 1 MB speed limit. Remember that to exceed the limits, it is enough to create an account on Mictoric.com and log in via Ruteros. This gives you a three month full trailer, right? And you can buy the full version after the trailer. Then without further ado, let's start the installation. You can access the automatic installation bash script from the link I shared in the description section. I will explain the next steps. First, let's review the current configuration of the server. It would be better for you to have a system that you can intervene via VNC in case of a problem. Let's copy the bash script and edit the two parts that we need to edit specifically for our server. The parts we need to edit are 1. Network interface name. 2. Disk path. It will be enough to update these two parts as I show. And our bash script is ready. Let's create a file called ruteros.h, paste the bash script we prepared into it, and run it. We give the necessary perm permissions, hmod, and run it. In some cases, this may prompt you to rewrite your disk path. We type judev SDA again and press enter. And the Routeros installation process is completed. We are waiting for it to start again. Now, I will find out the IP address of Macrotic through a higher router and come back. You can learn this by connecting via VNC and printing. Okay, I learned the IP address. Now let's check it. Let's connect via Winbox. That's it for the video. By installing Microtik in this way, you can have a virtual firewall and make specific network configurations for your systems such as Proxmox and VMware. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Goodbye.